Yo, I'm Zix. Welcome to the jam. Let's play a video game. I will choose this one. Now, name, I believe, is Zix. Although some others would have you believe that my name is Dix, they would be wrong. I've played this game so many times, it's insane. And I will tell you more about that in a minute. But first, we have a story. What a relief! I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a bit woozy. You're on Koholint Island. Well, that's nice. Hello, Mario. Well, Zix, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Tyron. Hope you're feeling better. What? How did I know your name? You think that's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on the back of the shield. Gee, thanks, buddy. You got your shield back. Press the button and repel enemies with it. Alright. I'm not putting it down. I think you mean enemies can repel me with it. I believe that's what you meant to type. That's okay. So this is the best Zelda game, because there's, a uh, nice doggies in it. See, that's, that's a nice doggy. That's a wolf. It's not a dog. Hello there. Makeup, jewels, dresses, I want it all. Sigh. And some new accessories would be nice. So this is, this is just straight up the best Zelda game. For so many reasons. For one, it's just Mario. Yep, 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 yep. Ho oh, ho ho. My Bow Wow is so proud of his fine fur coat. It's, uh, they're dogs, dude. That's what they are. They're big, circly dogs. Hello there. Hey man, when you want to save, just push all the buttons at once. Uh, don't ask me what what that means. I'm just a kid. I should use that excuse more often. I don't know what that means. I'm just a kid. Well, it seems that after you save, you will start at the last door you went through. I'm not really sure why that is, because I'm just a kid. These, these kids know know how to be kids. Full Chuck E. Cheese. We're a kid. Can be a kid. So we'll head on down. I'm just going to check something really quick. Yeah, it's set to zero. Excuse me, sirs. I must go through. I have a place to be, and that time is now. Pardon me. You want to just be right here. That'd be great. It would look it'll look real cool if if I do something and you're right here. All right. Hoot hoot. See so you're the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. Hoot. I'll just... Yeah, I got my sword back. You found your sword. It must be yours because it has your name engraved on it. Yeah, I got my sword. Whoa, did you see how cool that was when I killed him? That was amazing. Right, buttons. A sword, B is shield. I switch items eventually. Reason number 18, why this is the best Zelda. You can swing your sword as fast as you want. Ah, oh, sorry, my hand hurts doing that. <laughs> Hello, monkey. Bad monkey! So, when I was a kid... You're an alligator, I don't remember you! Welcome to Sail's House of Bonanas. I'm Sail. This is my house. Actually, my hobby is collecting rare and unusual canned food. My brother is an artist, so I guess strange hobbies run into family. Thank you for telling me that. So when I was a kid, you may be thinking, Oh, Zix, Zix had the Sonic cartridge when he was a kid. No. There was a website. Long ago. That I, I used to play on. It had all sorts of video games. It had those, those lovely Flash games that we all played as a kid. Got tons of viruses from it. However, they just straight up had, like, an old school, em like, browser emulator running on it. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a phone call in the first episode. Come on! Hey, Ma. Yeah, I'm recording. 
recording right now, and you called me while I was recording. Let's just pretend that never happened. But anyway, so they had this game just straight up running on emulator from the site. And here's the thing about browser emulation. It's cool, right? You can do it. It works. It runs the game perfectly. Albeit at a one-to-one -one ratio of what the game actually looks like. Because I'm running the game at four times its original size, because the game is super small. Like, you can see the individual pixels. And that's a good thing, because I like big pixel art. However... Uh... Yeah, you couldn't save. You had to beat the game all in one go. So I, I would say I've probably done the first dungeon of this game at least 60 times. This is not a chest. What? You knew that? Okay. What do you... What does that mean, dude? Automatic memo guidebook. Read this book. No! I don't need books to be a smart Zelda man. I don't remember a lot about this game. It's been at least like... At least like five years since I've touched this game, even. Got a piece of hot! Press select on the sub screen to see. Okay. But no, it's uh, it's been a while. So I apologize if I'm not well versed in, in this Zelda in particular, but I do remember a lot about it. Oh, sorry doggy, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to hit you. I did mean to hit you though. I'm not ashamed about it. How about some fishing, little buddy? I'll only charge you ten rupees. You have to have more passion. Live a little. I have to have more money. You have a job fishing. You probably sell fish to people. Yeah, I don't have money. I find spare change in the grass. That's what I do. This is also the best Zelda because you can do this. Let me see if I can do it right now. I hope he has it. Hello, friend. Hey, welcome. See something you like? Just bring it here. I'll bring it there. First, we're going to save, though. Yes, very nice shovel you have here. Very nice shovel. Yes. Yes, very nice shovel. Hey, you, stop! You gotta pay! Put it back! Alright, I will. Oh, come on. Just let me steal your shovel. Darn it. Come on, just turn around. There you go, but ah, oh. There you go. <laughs> there, there's a point in time where he'll, like, be turned around that way for long enough. You gotta, like, walk in, like, above him. And then quickly go behind him. Maybe if I, like, do this. Let's just go in circles a little bit until we get around him quickly enough. Also, the music here is, like, really eerie. Yes! Okay, we got the shovel. Guess what? You got it for free! Are you proud of yourself? Yeah. How'd you know? So now we have the shovel. It's, it's like the first open world game I've ever played was what this game was. Because it's just like, here's the world. Go dig it up, dude! Just go dig up everything. I will. Just you watch me. <laughs> you can just dig up everything. And it's probably the easiest way to get money. In a lot of ways. Hi, Marin. Hi. Tyron went to the forest to look for toadstools. But I'd rather sing. Listen to this. It's called... The Ballad of the Windfish. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna... You know what they say, whistle while you work. And all that jazz. So Zix, why are you playing Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX for Game Boy Color? Now available in pink and blue. Well, you see, my child. Uh, I've been losing a lot lately. At, like, every game I've been playing. And I don't like it. I don't like losing. 
I feel like it, it devalues the entertainment of the channel. Not necessarily because I have to be perfect at games, because I don't expect to be. But because when I watch people play video games, it's nice to see them win. You want to root for them. So I figured if I play a bit of a longer game, that isn't so much of a you win or lose fail state, like with uh, roguelites, it'll be fun. Plus it's nice, it's nice to revisit old games and you get in there. I'm pretty sure there's like at least two or three items you need to like dig up with a shovel too. Oh right, I need the key for this dungeon. I don't remember how to get it though. Dude, this is cool. It's like when you when you visit a Zelda old Zelda after a really long time, and it's one of the kind of older obscure ones, or even just any game. It's like, oh, how did I do that? How did I do that? It's so cool. So we'll just explore. Because that's what we do in Zelda. I don't want to be that guy, you know. But still, it's still just nice to come back to it. Nice to come back to games. Excuse me, sir. Well, I want that. Can't get it right now. Isn't there something I have to dig up here? Or isn't like the weird alternate world of this part of the game? I don't remember. No, I'm thinking of, uh... Which one is that? That's Oracle of Seasons I'm thinking of. Which was the one that I played the crap out of actually on cartridge. So I'm not seeing a lot to do right now, so I think we'll just go find Taran. Or not Mario, as he's called. Apparently there's like a theory running around the world. That like, uh, what the? You got a piece of power. You can feel the energy flowing through you. I'm like really fast now. <laughs> I forgot about this power up. I'm pretty sure it makes it so you do more damage. It makes you a little bit faster. For a temporary amount of time. Oh, it launches enemies. Oh, that's sweet. Dude, look how fast I am! For as long as my sword is glowing, I suppose. That's sweet! I forgot enemies have a chance of dropping that. Mysterious forest. It's a little bit mysterious. <laughs> this freaking game. Hoot! Ho! Oh, brave lad on your quest to wake the dreamer. Welcome to the mysterious wood. Much a mystery you will find on this uncharted Koholint island. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the wind fish naps. By the by, have you ever visited the Tail Cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The wind fish is watching. Hoot! How could he be watching? You told me he's asleep. <laughs> they just go flying! And they explode too! Oh, it's awesome. Get out of here! What are you? Beware of floors with cracks. A heavy person should not stand on them. It's a good thing I'm a small boy. You can just poke the bushes as you walk through them. It's nice. This game has so many good things. I'm pretty sure it came out before, uh... What was the other, like, big Zelda game? Zelda 3. Was that Link to the Past? No. Well, yes it is, but... I thought I was sure that this game came out before it. I could be wrong. So there's a fairy pond. I'm pretty sure we can come back to that when we have the fairy readily available. I'm sick of these guys. I'm sick of fighting them in Gungeon. I'm sick of fighting them here. Wow, this looks pretty heavy. You won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. If only I had bare hands. I bet I could pick them up if I had real bare hands. Ooh, piece of heart. I'm pretty sure this is one of the games where you're able to get a jump upgrade. Yeah, yeah, this is one of them. Hello. Hello, Miss Witch. Double, double, toil and trouble. It's all some mix mix powder for tricks. Okay. That was a sick, nasty, uh... What you call it? Macbeth reference. Crazy Tracy, Manbo's Pond. Well, can't go either way. It's 
So we'll just we'll just make episodes of this series like 20 minutes long or so. Ooh! You've got a guardian acorn. It'll reduce the damage you take by half. Lots of weird like little power-ups in this game. I completely forgot about stuff like that. But most enemies at this point in the game. What? He just can't damage me. That's awesome. Oh, I miss this game. Is there anything over here this way? Oh, there you are. As a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. Alright. <laughs> You're going to be lost thanks to me. <laughs> oh, I don't remember how to do this part. Oh, yeah, I'm way up top in the right now. Hmm. Well, that's annoying. Let's check this cave. <laughs> Can I get through this? Yes, I can. I'm pretty sure I can get that piece of heart right now if I try. There's the mushroom. Gotta get the mushroom, Luigi. You pick the toadstool. As you hold it over your head, a mellow aroma flows into your nostrils. It smells good. Wish I could jump over there. Yeah, this is one of the Zelda games that you can jump in. Which, in my opinion, is amazing. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we can get that if we, like, do this. Well, we'll have to come back in here first. There we go. Oh, I guess that's just not allowed. Whatever. I'll just dig up a piece of heart, see if I care. Can I kill enemies with the shovel? Is that what just happened? Oh, sweet. I think I can get that right now, actually. If I just break all these, get these out of the way. Sweet! Oh, yay. You got 50 bucks! Very nice. That's a nice little touch. Add, like, a little comment, like, that's that's very nice. You did good. You found the, the money. Oh, right, I need to... I need to wake you up. You gotta make him all sneezy. So that he can turn back into the person I need. Nope, it's up and to the right. I have a map, I should just look at my map. Yeah, it's... it's... this purple house right here. Which is up. Get out of here! I think the tiny ones can only, like, stick to you and slow you down. I could be wrong, though. Yes, give me that guardian acorn. We already have 84 rupees, which is pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, that's why we don't hit that guy. Oh, witch hut! Double, double, toy and trouble. Toast so mix makes powder for tricks. Oh, that's right, I have to equip it. Ah, it has the sleepy toadstool, it does. We'll mix it up something in a jiffy, we will. <laughs> Look at her go! It's already it is. Take care, as there's not much there. Why not try a bit in my hut? You've got some magic powder. Try sprinkling it, sprinkling it on a variety of things. Poof. Oh, this looks pretty epic. Oh, yes, I know. I hate that. I hate that it pops up every time you do that. Good job. Use it on your enemies and see what happens. If you run out, go to the forest, pick some mushrooms, and I will make you more. Thank you. It's very nice of you. It also works on these guys. Ammon! Hey, oh, shoot! Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, gosh. I guess we save and continue. Let's try this again. Hey, Mon. 
You know me, I like short names the best. Oh, please. Let me just de-equip my sword right, right quick. Oh, darn it. Sir, please, I wish to have conversations with you. And not die. Is there anything else you say? It can display millions of polygons. I definitely need it as soon as possible. Zora, could you go away for a second? Okay. Right, that's everything he has to say. I think he's a very interesting fella, and I wish he told me more. So we're definitely in need of a heart as soon as possible. It's very likely we'll get one from an enemy. This game is very forgiving with enemy drops. Also, I'm pretty sure the beeping that you hear when you're low on health isn't as annoying as in other games. Other Zelda titles, at least. So let's go powder a certain man's nose. And not the old-fashioned term, I mean we're actually gonna throw powder on his nose. In case you don't know the old weird phrase that people used to say about needing to use the restroom. There he goes! <laughs> there he goes! The last thing I can remember was biting into a big juicy toadstool. Then I had the darndest dream. I was a raccoon! Yeah, sounds strange, but it sure was fun. Well, I bet. You got anything else for me, buddy? I'm all tuckered out. I think I better set a spell before I head home. You're just gonna nap in this dangerous forest with all these creatures. Cool. I wish I was, I was as carefree as you. You got the tail key. Now you can open the tail cave gate. Are you gonna tell me that I can open the tail cave gate? Take the key and go to the tail cave. I'll show you the instrument that is hidden there. Go now. The windfish is waiting. Alright, cool. Wait. Oh, okay. Gopongo Swamp. Mysterious Forest. I'd like to go that way eventually. Oh, it's a like-like. I could do a Scooby-Doo reference, but that's that's stupid. Bring. Hello, it's me, Ulurewa. Ask me anything about the island. If you get lost, give me a call. Bye. Click. Okay. Goodbye. I I'm not very social on phones. More of a texter. For Link, at least. I'm actually pretty good at talking over the phone. Talking in person, though? Not my, not my forte. I'm okay at it. Excuse me, sir. Also, you can pick up rupees with your sword if you slice them. Alright, let's get out of this wonderful forest. And get to the uh, first dungeon. I think we'll call it a nice little day for that one. For this episode. So what's our plan? We beat the dungeon. Unfortunately, it's kind of a more linear Zelda. I guess almost all of them are like that, so that's not really a surprise. We, we do we do our dungeons in order here. Dungeon one is no problem though. I think what I remember most about this game is that almost every dungeon is a uh, very linear. Or not linear, but they... I want to say it's on rails, but that's kind of exactly what I was meaning to say initially. The game is... has a lot of railroad tracks in it. Alright, we're good to go. Well, hey, thanks for tuning in. We'll do level one next time. Have a good night. Have a good one.